We start with that breaking news. NATO officials confirm Russia has begun its invasion. Explosions were seen and heard across the country overnight hours after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a military campaign in Ukraine. We have just learned around 40 people have been killed in the blast. That's according to an advisor to Ukraine's president. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon live outside UN headquarters on the east side with the international response to this. Kevin. At Chris and Mary late last night, the U.N. Security Council gathered here behind me. They tried to do their best to avert any sort of conflict. And despite their best efforts, that's exactly what happened. We have seen those uh, tanks rolling in from the Belarus border. We've seen them roll in from those uh, two breakaway regions as well. As many of those uh, conflicts have now been ongoing, we've seen bombings. We've uh, heard a lot of uh, gunfire, the sirens, the air raids. So it is uh, very much a conflict zone uh, this morning. The Ukrainian president took to his social media feeds to urge citizens to take up weapons if they want to defend their country. He also mentioned that they have broken all diplomatic ties with Russia. Now, back here at the U.N., despite their best efforts to try and prevent this conflict, uh, there was frustration. There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell. Ambassador. Tensions were high here at the U.N. The Security Council met moments after Russian President Vladimir Putin, in a televised address, ordered a military operation in eastern Ukraine. That's what he said, but we've already seen airstrikes reported throughout the entire country, not just in the breakaway regions to the east. Putin warned if other countries try to stop them, there will be consequences like they've never seen before. Ahead of the operation, satellite images showed many Russian troops within 10 miles of the Ukrainian border. Journalists on the ground say they've started to move in. As the sun was coming up in Kharkiv, smoke could be seen in the distance following an airstrike there. Ukraine's president had appealed for peace before the invasion in an emotional speech delivered in both Ukrainian and Russian. He said he tried to call Putin, but the result was silence. Back here at home. The United States and our allies and partners will continue to respond to Russia's actions with unity, with clarity, and with conviction. What we're trying to minimize is what impact there's going to be on the United States and global markets in a lot of ways. President Biden in a statement says Russia has chosen a premeditated war that will bring a catastrophic loss of life and human suffering, adding the world will hold Russia accountable. And we do expect to hear from President Biden again today. He will roll out even more sanctions. And we can tell you the economic impact is being felt in Russia. Their markets sharply lower in many cases, down as much as 50 to 60 percent. Uh, one other thing that we are expecting to see is the potential for a NATO meeting. The French President Emmanuel Macron has called for a meeting. NATO says it's also beefing up some of its eastern flank with uh, countries bordering uh, Russia, those countries including Estonia and Latvia who say they are now concerned for their own future. We're live outside the U.N. Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. Okay, Kevin, thank you so much.